Hello all dear students. Welcome to the most comprehensive preparation platform for all competitive exams by Jews exam prep. And warm welcome to this session. Dear friends, IASC has brought a new paper that is data science and artificial intelligence. As you people think if you are a computer science student, then it is an advantage for you definitely that you can give the second paper as data science and artificial intelligence. So, you might be looking at the syllabus and finding the commonality as well as the difference of computer science syllabus as well as the data science and artificial intelligence syllabus. So, in this session, I will explore the commonality and difference in terms of in with respect to syllabus of CS and DA. Let us get into the session. I am Satya with all these credentials. So, dear friends, if you look at first the subjects in computer science, we have aptitude, engineering maths, digital logic, COA, programming and data structures through C language, algorithms, theory of computation, compiler design, operating systems, databases, computer networks. So, total you can say around 11 topics we are having. 11 subjects we are having in CS and IT, Computer Science and Information Technology. Now, if you look at the number of subjects in Data Science and Artificial Intelligence, we have aptitude as common, probability and statistics as a new subject, I mean as a, a separate subject, linear algebra as separate subject, calculus and optimization as a separate subject programming data structures and algorithms as together as a single subject, database management and warehousing as single subject, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Right? So, as per the official released syllabus, you can see the number of subjects in CS and IT is 11 including aptitude. And in DA, Data Science and Artificial Intelligence, it is 8 including aptitude. So, now if you see what is common in the number of subject, in the subjects if you see what are, what is common in both, aptitude is of course common, data structures and algorithms is common and database management is common. So, you see total there are 1, 2, 3, 4 subjects common in computer science as well as DA. Right? Now, if you look at the syllabus once in probability and statistics, what is the syllabus we have in CS and IT? You see random variables, uniform, normal, exponential, uniform, normal, exponential, poison and binomial distribution, mean, median mode, standard deviation, conditional probability and Bayes theorem. This is what these are what the topics we have in uh, uh, probability and stats syllabus and it is not a separate subject in CS. Under engineering mathematics, it is a subtopic, right. But in data science and artificial intelligence, we have it as a separate subject. And you see all the syllabus that we have in CS and IT of probability and stats, all those topics are there even in the syllabus of DA. Along with this, we have many more topics added. Right? So, I have highlighted here with this red color what is common. So, you see multiple topics are there in addition in DA. In the same way, if you look at linear algebra, in CS and IT we have matrices, determinants, system of linear equations, eigenvalues and eigenvectors, LU decomposition. 
same topics we have even in DA along with some topics added. Similarly, if you look at data structures syllabus, data structures, all the topics are common in both except that in data structures, graphs, graphs part, we discuss graphs in uh, three different subjects, discrete maths, data structures, algorithms in CS I am talking about, right. Uh, with respect to data structures graphs, if we talk about, we have this shortest path tree, shortest path tree, right. But that is not there in uh, DA. We have arrays, stacks, queues, linked list trees, but graphs you, is not given in the data structures syllabus of DA. Similarly, algorithms if you look at asymptotic worst case time and space complexity, this is not there in data science and artificial intelligence syllabus except that we have hashing topic, we have searching algorithms, we have sorting algorithms, we have graph theory, uh, this uh, Prim's algorithm, Kruskal's algorithm, shortest path tree. By the way, uh, sorry, I have mentioned as the uh, uh, shortest path tree for data structures, but it actually it is BFS and DFS, sorry, breadth first search and depth first search, what we discuss in data structures. Prim's algorithm, Kruskal's algorithm, shortest path tree we discuss in algorithms that is there, that is there, but DFS, BFS is not given uh, as per the official syllabus released by IASC in data science and artificial intelligence. We do have graph algorithms, we have divide and conquer, we have uh, uh, this uh, greedy algorithms, we have uh, DP algorithms, right. Now, DBMS syllabus, you see from DBMS, I am not talking about warehousing, DBMS syllabus, if you look at all the topics of CS are as it is there, as it is there even in uh, DA also, except transactions and concurrency control is not mentioned in DA, right. So, we have ER model, relational model, relational algebra, relational algebra, SQL queries, integrity constraints, normal forms, file organization, indexing as it is common, but transactions and concurrency control is not there in DA, but there in CS. And in data science and artificial intelligence paper, what are the new topics exclusively in DA, what is new? If you see, of course, in uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence, data warehousing, completely new. All the topics are new because they are, they are not at all there in CS. And in programming, what is the new Python? In computer science, we will learn programming through C language. But in data science and artificial intelligence, we have to learn programming through Python language. Of course, we know this MLDS AI use demands this Python language. Henceforth, DA aspirants need to learn programming through Python. And in probability and stats, you see multiple topics are there added new counting, probability axioms sample space events, independent events, mutually exclusive events, marginal distribution, T distribution, chi square distribution, cumulative distribution function, conditional PDF, central limit theorem, confidence interval, Z test, T test, chi square test. So, all these topics we will not be learning in uh, computer science probability stats uh, learning, but in DA we have to right and linear algebra the topics that are added new in da when you are a cs student what you find new is 
वेक्टर स्पेस सबस्पेस इज लीनियर डिपेंडेंस एंड इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ वेक्टर्स गॉशियन एलिमिनेशन डिटर्मिनेंट रैंक नलिटी प्रोजेक्शन अफकोर्स इफ यू आर ए सी एस्पिरेंट Definitely, these topics you might be learning in your engineering maths, but for computer science, yes, it is not. Hope you all understood what are the different uh, differences or what are the common topics we have uh, compared with the computer science syllabus and uh, DA syllabus. Right? I hope this session helped you in identifying or in comparing both CS and uh, DA. I wish. all cs aspirants as well as da aspirants uh, i wish you all the very best wish you all a happy learning stay focused guys definitely definitely you people will achieve your success wish you all the very best keep liking and sharing the session stay tuned to byju's exam prep enable the notifications by subscribing thank you so much see you in the next session till then have a great time take care bye bye